a trip, I think. I'm sure your are just now. Uh-huh. I have 11 yeah. There we go. We did not get our 50%. The percentage is going up, so I know more of you are doing it, but not enough. So more of you need to do your work. Here's the other one. You did it. So again, the percentage went up, but not 50%. So many of you are missing Delta Math, so if you're not retaking, you're going to be doing that today. Right. On the shark bite, which numbers do we want to see you go over? I have questions about three. Any others? Okay. What do you mean? Oh, there's more on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we'll do four. <laughs> Just those two? Solve the following equation for x. So kind of like when we solve the equation for y, but opposite. So you're going to get x by itself. Get rid of the y term by adding it to the other side. Whether you put 8 plus 4y or 4y plus 8 doesn't matter. And then because each of these guys stop talking. Each of these can be divided by 2, divide everything by 2. So that x equals 4 plus 2. Question on that. <laughs> right. And then number 4 on the back. I'll give you a second. Some of you are still writing. This goes back to our systems of equations. So in this, the Buffalo Bills score 24 more than twice the number of points the Miami Dolphins score. So if we knew the number of points the Miami Dolphins score, and we multiply that by 2 and added 24 to it, we would get Buffalo Bills score. So I'm going to define two variables and say this is the number of points In this first part, so I didn't highlight or underline this, but I'm going to do Score 24 more than the number of points, and all together they scored 56 points. We're looking for how many they scored individually. You need two equations. One is going to be everything in yellow. B equals 24 plus 2 times X. The second equation, all together, the team scored 66 points. So we know it's going to equal 66. The two teams, that's your Buffalo Bills and your Miami Dolphins, so add those together to get 66. Then you have choices on how you want to solve this by graphing system, uh, nope, by substitution or elimination. Substitution would work the best because this is already equal to one of the variables. I'm going to take this and put it in for B, and rewrite it as 24 plus 2M plus the M that was already there equals 66. Then I'm going to solve this for M, combine like terms. Get rid of 24. And divide both sides by two. So that would be one of our answers, the 14 points. Then I have to go back and find B. You can do that a couple different ways. Take this 14, put it back into this M and solve for B here. Or take this 14 and put it back into this M and solve for B here. Doesn't matter. 
tires. I'm going to do the second. Give me a second to figure out who someone needs to take or finish the test. 